The question states, find the circumradius of a triangle with sides 5, 29 and 30. And I'm given four options to choose from. Well, I'm given a triangle with sides 5, 29 and 30. From the sides itself, it doesn't seem to be a right angle triangle. So this would be a general triangle, triangle something like this. Well, let's try to find the circumradius in general. Say, this is length A, this is B, and this is C. Intentionally, I have taken the lengths of side opposite to vertex A as small a, opposite to vertex B as small b, and opposite to vertex C as small c. Just a center notation. Now, well, if I try to plot the perpendicular bisector of BC, this would be something like this, and perpendicular bisector of AB, this would be something like this. Now they would meet each other at the circumcenter. So this would be the circumcenter of this triangle. Well, now let's join, let's say this point is O. Let's join BO and CO. Let's join AO as well. Now drawing the circle, I'll have a figure that would look something like this. Now if O is the center of this circle, then I can say angle BOC should be twice of angle A. Why? Because a circle has a property which states that since both these triangles are congruent, say this is D, since both triangles BOD and COD are congruent triangles so I can say these two angles would be equal to each other. Now this complete angle is twice of angle A so I can say angle BOD would be equal to angle A. Now this complete length BC is of length A so BD would be A by 2 because this line is the perpendicular bisector. So BD is A by 2 and OB is of length R. So let's try to take this triangle out of this figure. So drawing triangle BOD I have now now in this triangle I can say the sine of angle A would be equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So in this case sine of angle A would be equal to A upon 2 divided by R. So this implies sine of A is equal to A by 2R. Similarly I can prove in by taking other set of triangles that sine of B would be equal to B upon 2R and also sine of C is equal to C upon 2R. Now from this I can conclude A upon sin A would be 2R. And from this B upon sin B equal to 2R. And from this C upon sin C is equal to 2R. Combining these three equations I have A upon sin A equal to B upon sin B equal to C upon sin C equal to 2R. This, this is called as sine law of a triangle which states that the ratio of side and sine of opposite angle in a triangle is always equal which is equal to 2R which is 2 times the circumradius. Now let's try to evaluate the area of this triangle ABC. So this is the triangle ABC. So this is A, this is B and this is C. So area of this triangle is given as half AB sin C or half 
ए सी साइन बी और हाफ हाफ बी सी साइन ए नाउ इन द प्रीवियस रिजल्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट साइन सी इज सी अपॉन टू आर दिस आई कैन से एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल से डेल्टा वुड बी हाफ ए बी सी अपॉन टू आर फॉर द एरिया सो एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल वुड बी ए बी सी अपॉन फोर आर सो इन जनरल द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज गिवन एज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ थ्री साइड्स डिवाइडेड बाई फोर टाइम्स दी सर्कम रेडियस और द जनरल फार्मूला फॉर एवेल्युएटिंग दी सर्कम रेडियस वुड बी ए बी सी अपॉन फोर डेल्टा now now in the given question a b c are 5 29 and 30 delta delta would be the area area would be calculated using the heron's formula so if a is 5 b is 29 and c is 30 here so what would be s so s would be 5 plus 29 plus 30 divided by 2 which is 32 so area would be under root of s times s minus a which is 27 multiplied by s minus p which is 3 multiplied by s minus c which is 2 now this and this would make 64 this and this would make 81 so square root of 64 is 8 and 81 is 9 so 8 9 is 72 so this would be 72 so substituting this value of delta i have r would be 5 times 29 times 30 divided by 4 delta this 4 times 72 so this implies r would be 725 by 48 so option d would be the correct option well the learning out of this question would be that in a triangle abc with sides a b and c and circumradius r the circum radius r is given as the product of sides divided by 4 times the area of this triangle well thank you for watching this video do share your feedback for more such content you can stay connected to us through our facebook page and youtube channel maths masala